We're at the Utah Valley Convention Center for the CVX YouTubers Convention. <laughs> uh, good times. So. This is stop number three on our Saturday adventures. <laughs> Somebody forgot the phone in the car, so I had to run out and get it. <laughs> this is not what I expected. <laughs> Pirate ship. Hey, this is the kids area. Shave ice. Oh, that, yeah. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more videos. She's like, hey, do you want a show? And I'm like, all right. So it's, it's nice being here at a social media convention with so many like-minded people who uh, also believe having depression is a personality. <laughs> I like to play this game called, am I depressed or does my life just suck? Right? It's like, depression sucks. Like, it's hard, you know? It's like when you're trying to eat your favorite food and it just doesn't taste good. But sometimes your life just sucks, and in those moments, you're supposed to be depressed. That's your body saying, hey, I want to get out of this. You're supposed to be depressed, and that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, this is now more motivational than a coffee. <laughs> um, sorry. Uh, not sure if you can tell by my weight, but I eat a lot of Taco Bell. I even uh, I went to college up north in Rexburg, Idaho. If you guys have heard of that at BYU, Idaho. Yeah. A few fans. Well, you know, these days, do you have depression? All right. Crap. This is not uh, the right thing. It's very weird place. It's the only place I've ever been to where I saw people praying for their food at Taco Bell. And I was just like, what's the point? It's Taco Bell. It doesn't matter what you say. God's not going to make that better for you. <laughs> if you're praying for your food at Taco Bell, all you should be saying is, Lord, forgive us of our sins and for what we are about to do. <laughs> Any fans of the Great British Bake Off here? Yes! Yeah, uh, people love that show. Because that's what Britain is known for. The rich cultural history of baking. There's no other country in Europe that would be better for that. Do you think when France saw that show, they're like, what the heck? That's my French accent. What the heck? It's like, how did the country that puts beans on their toast get to be the judge of what good food is? I think a better show for Britain would be like the Great British Imperialization Off. They're pretty good at that. Uh, who wants to be in the EU? They're still struggling He's with like that. He's like talking to the wrong crowd. Or a great British kids. terrible team. <laughs> yeah, right. So tell us what you did with your assignment here. He's yes, I noticed like the him. tooth was a little bit crooked. And so every time she was talking, she made this little whistle. So I just made some adjustments. And now every time she speaks, it's to the tune of God Save the Queen. The other day I was at this grocery store and I saw this kid and he was asking his mom for a balloon and she gave it to him. This is the crowd he goes, Yay! This is the happiest day of my life! It was adorable because he was French. I think the average age is like 14. It was a nice moment to see a kid just so happy. And then I thought, what if it was the happiest day of his life? You think about that? The summer when you're 16, your first car. He'll walk down the aisle with his new bride. She'll whisper in his ear, is this the happiest day of your life? And he'll have to answer no. Do I want the phone? I got a balloon when I was five. Where? Over here? That yeah. was the happiest day of my life. Why would I want your phone if you go over there? Uh, Sorry, I, I'm oh. so sick right now. So you want me to try not to go? Yeah. Uh, here's a fun game <laughs> well, for your kids out like, here. Okay? Why your if you're ever like looking for something fun oh, to do, yeah, put it just here. replace any movie with Gilbert Gottfried, and it becomes the most fun thing in the world, right? For example, Star Wars. Do you want to go with him over here? Luke. Sorry. He's very lost his dying computer. Luke, are you okay? She's a big fan of Gilbert Godfrey. Like, literally right? none of these kids. Or uh, like Harry Potter. <laughs> You're a wizard, Harry! Oh my gosh, Gilbert I don't know. Give me a movie. Give me a movie. I don't even know who that is. Yeah, sure. La La Land? I don't know anything from La La Land, so I'm just going to do Gilbert Godfrey and La La Land. 
from a perspective of a person who doesn't know any lines. La la la! I did la la land! There you go. So if you're ever bored, just do some Gilbert Gottfried impressions, and it always makes things better. Do they the hardest part is, is to hear my voice now, you gotta do it right or else you're gonna be really that Oh, that's true. <laughs> so, like, people always wonder where who was the first person to, like, think of drinking milk, right? That's kind of an obvious joke of, like, who, who came up to a cow and wondered, what if I squeeze this, what comes out, right? But, like, I want to know who was the guy who discovered wheat? Because wheat is disgusting if you try to eat it straight. Like, who is the guy who's like, I'm hungry. What do these knee-high twigs taste like? Yeah. Maybe if I just eat the seeds? It's better, but not there. But he kept trying. He kept going for it. He kept working at it. And so one day, his wife comes down the stairs. She's like, what are you doing? And go, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'll tell you what I'm doing. I couldn't make this wheat taste good, so I smashed it. I smashed it with a rock until it became like this powder, but that was dry. It was, it was too dry, so I, so I took the milk from the cows and those rocks that the chickens poop out, and I mixed that all together, but then that was too wet. So then I put it on a hot rock, and I think I just invented pancakes. <laughs> this is blood from a tree. <laughs> I think it would go good with it. Hey, I'm Tanner Rolf. Thank you very much. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Making noise, making noise, making noise, making noise. That was the best part of his entire say, My favorite yeah. part of La La Land is when Emma Stone looks straight at the camera and goes, La La! Gets me every single time. But then you're like, yeah, okay, I can see why uh, Ryan Gosling didn't want it. Okay. I get it now. All right, you guys, I hope you're having a good time here at CBX Live. We have some great stuff coming up. We're going to have something from the Aquabats. We're going to have Kelsey Edward performing here on stage. First, I work for my sponsors. First what? I work for my